Hi, Ian. Hi, nice to meet you. Dave Vellante, pleasure Hi. to meet you. This is Ian Kimball. My okay, camera. We'll take your spot and your camera and you know, never give up the microphone, but in this case I will. Okay. You need me here. Ian You're is the VP of me, uh, okay. Ian's a VP of uh, business process validation, is that right? Uh, is yeah, that, uh, sort of think of me of an evangelist with inside SAP. So I'm there to talk to uh, people about uh, Ah, okay. So you're you're helping uh, transform SAP. I'm helping transform. I'm trying to get the okay. message out about some of the new stuff we're doing, how it can benefit our customers, and uh, how it looks, in the f how things will look in the future. So we, you know, we usually we use the the term "eat your own dog food," but lately we've been saying because SAP powers seventy percent of the beer manufacturing in the world, <laughs> we're now saying "drink your own beer." Okay, okay. I like that far so, better. Yeah, that's so no that, thank you very much for that. That's an easy one. <laughs> Okay, so, so tell us what you're going to be uh, showing us. Here. Okay, well, what I want to do today is talk a little bit about the SAP mobile strategy. We've seen in the keynotes this morning a lot of information about the different areas that SAP are going in, things like the in-memory technology where literally billions of records can be analyzed in the fraction of a second. And also, the, another area is mobility, where we're seeing a huge amount of uh, work being done and, and new applications coming up. And as we said, we're going to have 40 to 50 new applications available by the end of the year. And on the top of that, the people-centric applications. The two things I wanted to show today, I can show you all three if you're interested, but the ones two I was going to concentrate on now are the in-memory and the mobile applications and show you some of the depth that we're doing in that. Okay. That's great. So, so the in-memory apps are, um, and the, the primary value prop there we've heard over and over is just speed, real time, you know, I, near I, real time. I would always say be careful of talking about speed. Yes, speed is a very important element inside in-memory, but the whole point about in-memory is it allows you to do things that you've never been able to do before. For example, if you're trying to mm. analyze three billion records, um, when you look at that, typically you'd have to aggregate that information. So you'd have to summarize by a product group or by a product family or summarize by perhaps a particular country. Just to, to narrow down the data sets. Exactly, so to narrow it. because there's nothing up till now that's been able to analyze three billion records in one particular application at one particular time. But with HANA, those limitations are gone. So now you can actually drill down to individual records and get that information you need on a far more accurate level, which is something we've never been able so it's before. really, it's really. I mean, speed. You're right. Is 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 almost too narrow a concept, or too maybe it's too high level, right? We're talking about the elapsed time of right. getting to an answer, and, exactly. and even the feasibility exactly. of getting to an answer, right. which wouldn't have been possible before. Certainly. I mean, if you look at something like uh, one very well-known area inside SAP is what's called COPA, cost analysis and profitability. And if you look at that as an example, um, you know, up till now, companies, if they want to work out the profitability of an individual product, they have to start aggregating. So let's say you've got all of your products and all of the sales, and you want to, say, uh, allocate marketing costs to that. Up till now, that type of, of technology in order to do that would have to be done with aggregations. Now, with HANA, you can do that in real time and actually drill down marketing cost to an individual customer. So you get the real cost of sales on an individual product for an individual customer, which is something that's not been possible to do before. I mean, I can show you an example here of actually a HANA system. So if we can get the uh, uh, system up and running here. Can we see that? Okay, so this is a HANA system that we're actually using at the moment now. You can see at the top here, we're actually analyzing at the moment a database of almost 2 million records. And these are the sales data from a particular pen company that we, we've de designed. And every day, you know, thousands of records go in here. Mm -hmm. But just the speed of being able to analyze, analyze the information and to get the information down to an individual record level. So here, I can choose a sales organization and bam, the graphic down here will change to show you then here, for example, then the information that I've asked for. And again, what it's done, it's pulled out a million records in 0.7 seconds. So yes, it's very, very fast, but now it gives me the opportunity to actually analyze and go in, for example, of a particular company. I can drill down into that company. And all of this then is, is absolute information in real time that that company and all of the sales invoices that are in the SAP system is made available. Yeah, we're not sampling here. We're operating in the entire we're, data set. We're looking at the entire data set, everything that's in there. So that's some of the power of HANA that you can actually see here. And as I said, a number of customers are already using it. And just the, the as you said, I'll go, go back to the speed, but just the value that they're getting out of the information, the ability to actually analyze the sales of a particular region on a particular day, and even go down to the individual sales document. So for example, I can then drill down even further and look here at a particular sales document. So I can even go down to that one level here, and then it'll show me then, okay, this was the sales document in this particular area. And that's something that was never been able to do before. You would have to do it on a 
much higher level and aggregate. Loading data, scrubbing data, aggregating data, exactly. and, and taking days, exactly. you know, hours at least, days, in, in fact, some weeks, of our customers, sometimes never. Some of our customers in, in some areas, they were running reports which were taking literally eight to ten hours to do, and they've got that time down to like 10, 15 minutes using the HANA technology. So yeah. very impressive stuff. And obviously applications in here in the financial area, retail are looking at this, incredible opportunity there. Imagine then a, a retail company looking at products such as uh, fresh, fresh fruit and vegetable, for example, something which has to come in there that has to be shipped out straight away to the stores. Having the real-time sales information from all of those stores, you know exactly you know, where the fruit and vegetables have to go straight away and that's just some of the applications we're looking at. So how are you guys using this internally? We're using it in a number of different ways internally. We're looking at it, obviously the analysis of our sales to understand you know how and what we're selling, where it's going and down to the individual users to understand then what are being used more commonly, which are the uh, processes that are being used so we can then help our customers improve and develop best practices with inside SAP. Now you're showing this on a laptop, is it because yeah. we got crappy wireless? Is why you're not <laughs> no, showing me on the, on the, the, the laptops <laughs> are wireless. What I was going to do is show some of the actual mobile demos yeah, okay, on here. Yeah, okay. So okay. I said, we've talked what about a setup. Now. Oh, yeah, no, thank you very much. That was great. I like that <laughs> one. So what we're going to do now is now we're going to have a look at some mobile applications. And probably before I start, I just want to say, you know, there are three different areas that SAP is looking at in mobile. And that's one for employees. So we're obviously making it more efficient for employees to be able to actually use the system and interact with it. We're looking at ways to extend the business processes to make the business processes of our customers more efficient. And thirdly, we're helping our customers help their customers with mobile technology. So they're the three focus areas. So what I was going to do is show you a few examples of that. So we'll start off with talking about then the employees. How's that? Okay. So what we can do, for example, here, we'll start off with a very simple example. Let's say I'm a manager and I need to do some shopping cart approvals. Now what I can see here, for example, is a simple workflow. It's the idea of here I have then the number of shopping carts, people are ordering stuff, I as a manager need to approve or reject that. What I can do is just drill down into any of these, see what Sharon has actually ordered. But the thing about mobile is you're not just automating business processes, you're bringing in additional information to help the, the user. So for example here I can see what the person's order, I can go down and see the detail of that, but, for example, I can integrate financial information into this. So, uh, for example, here, I can click here and see then the budget of this cost center, how much of that budget has actually been used. So I can now understand, yes, she's got a number of budget free and open for that. Yes, I can go ahead then and simply then approve that purchase. Can I red laser it and see if I can get a better deal? Or is that... <laughs> you can red laser it and see if you can get a better deal. Well, with, it's with Apple. Forget it. No, you get another better deal. So, uh, as I said, that's a, a very small example for an employee. Obviously, that's for a manager. We've got a number of applications that are available for employees as well. For example, travel expenses, you know, something that we all have to do. Here, we can read in information from credit cards, or if I want to, I can actually go in here and add a new receipt. And what I can do is, if I had a receipt, for example, here, using the technology, I can then simply just take the photograph of the receipt, or pretend that's a receipt, take a photograph of that, and then submit that with my travel expense report. So all I need to do now is say what that actually was. Let's say it was a parking ticket. I can then just say here this is mm. parking. I can then say the expense type was then parking. And then obviously then all I need to do is enter the amount, 45 bucks. We'll keep it as Canadian dollars. I can say that's done. Oops. Say so that's done, and then all I need to do is go in here and then submit that. And hey, I'm sure many done. people can relate to my old company. You had to have this big sheet of numbers, <laughs> and you had to write down the number of the category that was in, right? So it could bucketize it. Right? Well, that's something we've never uh, done. Sort of in the dark ages, but <laughs> yeah. uh, sorry. But that's that's a bit so that's the example of that first type of the the applications that are designed for the employees. The second way we're doing it is then extending the efficiency of an actual company. So, for example, let's say I was in the area of uh, I don't know. I'm a service technician. I'm going out there servicing different types of equipment. What I can do here, for example, is then I can have a look at an example here. And here we have a service technician who's going out, and he has all of the information here. This would typically be put onto a um, onto a piece of paper and given to the guy in the truck. Where, but now you can use the benefits of all of the technology inside here. Automatic route planning to, to say the optimal route. However, if a customer phones up and says, here, this is the time scales at the top, you can see here where the different customers have to be visited. But for example, if I understand that one customer says, you know, I can't make it at 11 o'clock, all I need to do is to pick up and just move that appointment to a different time. And hey presto, it'll then recalculate the route. It'll then put all that information into the SAP backend system 
system, all of that is available to somebody on the road. So that's an example about how we're making business. So that's real time, it. optimizing the route, optimizing saving the route, energy, saving energy, also know, making the customer the, happier. Yeah, right. At the end of the day. Right. So that's one example. And making your 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 people more efficient. Exactly, yeah. as I said, and that's another area. Another area is well, we're looking at completely new applications. For example, in the area of, of medical, um, mm. one of the areas, if you go to a hospital, typically IT is not available at the ba patient bedside. But with some of this new technology, why shouldn't it be made available? If I go here into SAP Electronic Medical Records, in fact, if I just turn it around here, it looks a lot nicer. What I can do now is say I'm an actual doctor in a particular area. I can then log in as that doctor. All of the security information is pulled then from the SAP backend system. And here I have a list of all of my patients. And what I can do then is then simply then drill down into this patient. And all of the information is then bought from the SAP backend to the actual bedside. So the physician actually has all of that information. I can stroll here through blood pressure and through different information about blood values. I can look at the lab results of this patient. I can even have a look at some of the... Uh, the x-rays and findings that are all stored in the system. So that's then bringing the actual application to the end user and that's something we're seeing more and more with this type of technology is really helping people. It's a different mindset now with these mobile applications. We have to help the people more in order to be able to do things. Now go back to your startup screen here and show okay. me all those apps. So this is a, looks like a looks like an app store. This is right? a, or, well, or well this like is a, it's not an app store, but like my this is just an example of the, the breadth a bunch of apps of, from of my app store. Is that <laughs> how this is going to work? This is the, these are obviously typically companies are going to provision these. Yeah. And there's a technology that we have called Afaria, which we're actually using here at uh, Sapphire today. The idea is is then that a company will be able to manage all of the mobile devices because what happens if a mobile device like this gets stolen, right. or what happens if you need to update the apps on your on your employees uh, piece uh, on your employees uh, mobile devices and all of this is then provisioned through the technology that we call Afaria and Afaria is very very efficient all of the um, devices you're seeing here at Sapphire have Afaria on them so if suddenly we find out that one of these apps is is very very popular we can then highlight it if let's say an update were to come through we can then push that update through on all of these machines if one of the machines gets stolen there's a central console at the back where they push a button and the next time that app goes anywhere all of the applications will be deleted on there so the Afaria technology that we're using is absolutely amazing they've used it recently in the US census where they had over 110,000 and different devices that were managed through this technology. And you distribute this technology through that Afaria platform or is it through the, the through Apple I, No, uh, the Afaria platform or? is something that you actually install on the device okay. and it's then centrally maintained by a company typically. And again, it's uh, from SAP. Okay, so so you don't have to submit any of these applications to, to Apple for approval and go through that process? You can do, you? do. Some of them certainly are available on the iTunes store. But just it's, not a, it's not compulsory. It's not compulsory. What we're doing now here, we're provisioning these inside our organization through the Afaria technology. So it works very well. Love it. The so, last uh, area then we were talking to is this one that we were looking at today in the keynote speech where we're helping our customers help their customers. And the example that we had in here was actually the Avon demo, which is a very simple demo. It was shown this morning. And the idea here is that everyone knows Avon, very, very successful company, fantastic, huge number of salespeople, which are typically housewives at home who are then talking to their clients. They're filling out forms, paper-based forms. But imagine the scenario where you know your client comes in, you could say, here you are. You're looking very pretty today, you know, how would you like to try some of our new eyeshadow? And all I can do is, let's say you like the blue, so watch the eyes. If I just click here on blue, automatically it'll fill in then there. So once you've then had a look at that, the client, the, the uh, Avon representative can say, okay, well, let's make a sale. They can then simply go in here. They can say, you know, this is what you ordered last time. What would you like to order? You can then go in here and say, okay, you want to reorder this, you want to reorder that. You can then, okay, I would like to add that new blue eyeshadow to you. I can add that to the order and then confirm that order. And then it's sent back to the SAP backend. Yeah. So this is how we're helping our customers help their customers with applications like this. We have a, a special on body moisturizer today. You can throw that exactly. in. Exactly, specialized cross-selling. Um, um, all of that I'm imagining available. you could have now, of course, I'm sure Avon likes the, the pretty model there, right? Because <laughs> it looks better than the customer probably in nine well, times out of ten cases. But maybe you could have like a reverse, like a skinny booth, you know, a fat booth. You could have a skinny booth. Here's you with that blue eyeshadow. That would be a very cool you could of even do extension that, of that application. The next version of this application, what we want 
to do is actually be able to take a photograph of the actual customer yeah, there and you then go. actually paste it on there. And, so then, and then trim them down a bit. Exactly. Yeah, 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 trim yeah. Them down. yeah, so I think you need a bit of a Photoshop Chisel application. And, yeah. yeah, that's right. I could do with some of that. It would be nice to have some hair. So uh, basically, the, <laughs> that's great. That's some of the, uh, the three basic areas that we're looking at inside the mobile demo. Very nice. You know, John, I have to say that um, I, I was, I've never been a big fan of demos at trade shows, but I love demos on the Cube. Okay. Right? Was, we've done a number I was of just demos. talking to uh, Mark about that last night, that we needed a special camera dedicated just for the demos, because one of the things we learned at EMC World last week was when you get through the executives, the athletes, okay, the, and the audience gets their big money shots and all the big messaging, they want to see the sexy demos. Mm -hmm. The demos what rock, right? Mm -hmm. So they don't want the canned, of course, they want real-time demos. So we need to do that, Dave. We've got to get the demos. And with the iPad, obviously, it's the tech jewelry of, uh, of our generation. Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, there's so much you can do with it. And obviously, using the SAP technology, it's very easy to put, put these applications onto different devices. So obviously, what we also want to do is to have you know, the applications then on multiple devices. You know, We have Playbook, uh, different demos on the Playbook. We're using the iPhone, the iPad, all of the different uh, devices out there. You know, especially in, in RIM at the moment now, there's some very exciting developments going on in there in the retail space and in other areas as well. I think you guys are going to be the consumer brand of IT and I think what 